today I'm going to show you how to program uh, your remote control cars um, ESC without using a programming card. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to program uh, your remote control cars um, ESC without using a programming card. Um, not everybody has a programming card for their ESCs. Um, so I'll just show you, I guess, on these two models. This is a, a, a brushed sensorless uh, ESC um, that I installed during my brushless installation. We'll also show you um, how to do it on this um, FS Racing 53632 um, Raptor Baja. They're similar procedures, and uh, hopefully these two examples will be able to help you out getting uh, the programming done on your ESC. So the ESC programming will obviously may be slightly different for other models, um, but hopefully these two will get you started or give you an idea on what you need to do to program your ESC without a programming card. So I'll start off with um, program, programming some parameters in this ESC that's on this WL Toys car I have. Um, just in case you're wondering what this programming business is all about, um, basically so, uh, your ESC or most ESCs have the ability for you to change the uh, some of the parameters uh, in the ESC. Um, those parameters are basically features um, such as like... Uh, uh, like your low voltage cutoff threshold or or maximum brake force um, percentage things like that um, but you know if it's working fine for you out of the box then you probably don't bother changing it um, but you know if you don't want to buy a programming card um, or you just don't have one and you want to program program it without it then uh, yeah just keep watching so um, with this ESC, um, well, firstly, you need to know what uh, ESC brand and model you have um, because in your manual that came with your ESC, um, or you might have to download from the internet if you don't have a manual, um, you'll need to uh, grab hold of your um, a table of parameters. Um, yeah, so for example, this is the table I have. Um, and these are the available parameters that I can change. Um, hopefully that's coming out fine on the camera. Um, but you can see in the left-hand side column, I've got the um, different programmable items, uh, which are the running mode, brake force, low voltage cutoff threshold, etc., etc. Um, and then these are the values that you can set for each of these ones, each of these uh, items. So you can set to one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. Um, but obviously not all the items go up all to nine. So um, I'll show you an example to start with um, on my ESC on how to program or reprogram it or view the current setting. Um, so firstly, of course, you need to have a battery attached to it. And once you have power connected to your car, um, you should have a button which is uh, a programming button which will be sometimes next to the on off switch or it might be a, a different button hanging around here coming off another line or it might be on the ESC directly um, but for my ESC for this ESC you actually hold it down as you switch it on okay I'm pressing the program button and about to turn on the power Okay, it's, it's flashing at the same time as beeping. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm, I've still got my uh, screwdriver on the button, and it's actually cycling through each of the items in the program list. And basically, it's beeping the number of times um, for each program item. Uh, so, for example, for number four, I've got start mode punch. When it beeps four times, it means that it's reached that item number. And so what you want to do is you want to let go of this button, the reset button, once I've reached 
the program item that I want to read or modify. So what we'll do is say I want to change the low voltage cutoff. So that's item number three. So what I'll do is let go of the button when I hear three beeps. That's one beep, two beeps, three beeps. So then I let go of the button. And then once you let go of the button, it will start beeping and telling you what the current setting is. So it beeps four times now, that's the current setting. So if I look at my table for low voltage cutoff and for four times, it means that it's currently set to three volts per cell. So three volts is the cutoff uh, threshold. <clears throat> so that basically protects the battery from, from getting damaged and too over discharged. So as you can see, it's beeping uh, four times. And if I want to change that to the next value, say I want to change it to five, which is three point. Now let's say, let's an example, change it to six, um, which is 3.4 volts per cell. So what you do is you press the button once the reset, sorry, the program button once. So I've pressed it once and it's added one. So it's gone on to the next um, option value. So it went from four, it's gone to five now. Now, I, I should mention that a long beep means five. Okay, so a long beep represents five and then the short beeps represent one, and in, in individual short beep represents one. So right now we've got value of five, because it's a long beep. Press it one more time. Okay, we've got a long beep and then a short beep, which is five plus one, so that's six now. So it's gone, to, I've now set it to 3.4 volts as my, um, as my setting for this parameter. And then to save and commit to save that uh, setting, you just switch off the the car, and that's it, guys. Um, basically, I've, I've I've programmed um, you know, one of the parameters on on this car, so that was the low voltage cutoff. So that was just an example. I'll do the example again, so that it it you sort of need a bit of patience in doing this um, procedure, but I'll do the example again, so that at least um, hopefully it'll be clearer to you. So remember. We want to change parameter three and we want to set the value to back. We'll change it back to 3.0. So we want to set it to four. So button down, power on, let it beep for a while. And it's gone quiet. Okay, it's one beep, two beeps, three beeps. Okay, and I let go. Three beeps. And then I let go because that's what we want to change, low voltage cutoff um, item. Now it's going to start beeping the current setting and I can hear a long beep and a short beep. Okay, so that means that's at six, which is what we set previously, which was uh, 3.4 volts. So if I press it now once, okay, I pressed it once and it's gone from six back to one because you hear the one beep now okay press it one more time okay two beeps we want we want it to be four beeps so i press it one more time and that brings it to three beeps press it again okay that brings it to four beeps and we're now at 3.0 volts per cell which is what we want turn it off to save it And you're done you're done programming that parameter so you do the exact same thing for each each item that you want to um to program um it takes a bit of time to do but um once you've done it a few times you get the hang of it and you'll be able to just uh, quickly check the value and set the value of whatever item you want to change um 
but yeah, that's how you do it on the on this on this e on this ESC on the WL Toys car. I have. All right, now I'll go through a quick example on the um, FS Racing Raptor Barger car, the uh, five three six three two. Um, it should be. I think it's pretty much the same thing. Um, there's a button here. There's actually a button here. You probably can't see. No. Hopefully you can see in the video. But yeah, that's an actual program button there. And then there's a switch behind it. Um, and same thing as before. Um, you'll need a table. Um, the only table I could find for this one on the internet uh, is only got five items down here. Uh, the running mode, drag, brake, force, low voltage cutoff threshold, start punch, and the maximum brake force. So, again, I'll, and, and then the, yeah, the black ones, the shaded ones are the default values. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll go ahead and change the, um, the low voltage cutoff threshold. Um, the default value of no protection is not a good idea. Um, so I don't know why they put that as default, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's set to 3.0 volts or at least, yeah, at least 3.0 volts and I'll change it to 3.4 and then change it back quickly for you. So that is item number three. And so therefore we want three, three volt, uh, three, three beeps for that item. And we want to change it to six over here. So let me hold, this one's a bit tricky to get into, but let me hold, so I'm holding the program button now and I'm gonna, I'm about to turn on the power. Okay. You can't hear it, but there's, it's beeping away. That, it actually beeped three times um, and then I let go of the reset button. So right now, it's beeping three times, which means that we're at the low voltage cutoff item. And I'm hearing a long beep, which is, um, let me focus here. I'm hearing a long beep, which means five. Remember, a long beep represents five, uh, and that's set to 3.2 volts uh, per cell. What I might do is I'll set it to 3.0 volts, um, making it the same as the, uh, WL Toys uh, ESC I've got there. So right now it's beeping five. Uh, let me change it to four. I need to change it to value four. So I'll press it once. Okay, so now I'm at six. Press it again. Okay, it's at one. Press it again. Two, three, and one more time. There we go. Four. So now I've got a value of four for this parameter. And four is what we want it to be, which is 3.0 volts per cell. All right, and then you turn it off to save that. And that's it. I've just set the parameter for low voltage cutoff um, threshold on this car. Um, it was 3.2 volts per cell, and I've changed it to, to 3.0. Um, I'll just go back into it to make sure um, that it's still at 3.0, and also just to demonstrate that it did save the value there. So press the program button, and then turn it on. Keep your finger on it while you turned it on. You can let go. Oh, I let go too early. Sorry, guys. Okay, fingers on it. And I'm supposed to let go of the program button when I hit item three. So when there's three beeps. So turning it on. Still pressing it. Okay. One. Two. Three. There. Okay, and I let go. I'm counting four beeps now. Okay, four beeps, as you remember, uh, on our table is the value that we set it to. Four, 
is 3.0 volts per cell and that's for item 3 low voltage cutter all right well guys uh, thanks for watching this video I hope that uh, helps you out with programming your ESCs without using a programming card um, not everybody um, has a programming card and I I'm just I just don't want to buy one I don't want to waste money on it when I can when I know I can program it manually like this uh, it just takes a bit of time and patience to learn it but once you've learned it um, you'll be able to make a change to any of your programming settings um, with ease um, and uh, yeah just don't worry about this this is broken from a <laughs> had a few accidents um, the other day um, you can check that video out if you like um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it I hope everybody enjoyed this video um please leave a thumbs up if you liked it and a comment if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions whatsoever about this please feel free to to leave a comment and um i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i've still got these two boxes here basically um there it's some mail that came in during the week it's two drones that i've yet to unbox um i hope to do those during the week but the only problem is once i unbox these i can't um, actually go out and fly them because um, of the stage four lockdowns here in Victoria, Australia. So it's a bit disappointing to open them when you can't actually play with them. But um, yeah, once once the restrictions are lifted, I'll certainly um, go out and fly these two drones. Hopefully do an unboxing video of those drones uh, as soon as possible. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.